All right, you guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, we're gonna react to a, uh, a video by a channel called Lost in Phoenix. Um, the guy's name is Art, and he uh, he's from Phoenix, Arizona. And he goes around and um, interviews different people in different situations. Um, the model, the the motto of his channel is uh, prevention through awareness. And just by showing people these these videos, um, it's it's this is education that you can't get anywhere. And um, the way he reacts with um, with these people, um, he's a, he's a true blessing, man. Like he's a true blessing to the streets. He's a true blessing to humanity, and um, he definitely makes this world uh, a better place. And I hope to meet this guy one day. Um, I'm going to be reacting to uh, a video. Um, he met a guy named Chino. Uh, he's 25 years old. He OD'd 14 times off of that Fetty. And um, I'm so glad he pulled through um, all those times because he, he's a very passionate guy. He, uh, he has a business. He's a nail technician. And, um, and uh, so just watch. I mean, just watch and learn. And... Um, this video will teach you not to judge people because even though Chino has, even though he's in the predicament he is, he's in, um, it's hard not to judge this guy. I mean, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. Like, there's no way you could judge this guy because he, he's a beautiful person, man. Like, I wish I was there for this guy. Uh, I wish I could just sit down and talk to him. Um, this interview is from two weeks ago, I believe. And uh, hopefully he has made some changes for the better. So, here we go. So today I'm with Chino. Chino, how old are you? I'm 25, bro. I'm a cosmetologist. I get a nail license and shit. If you Asian people saw me, don't judge me. You don't know what this is like. And uh, how'd you get started with the, with the blues, uh, Chino? The hospital, man, they give you some bullshit pills. It's the same as dope, but they lie to you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's dope. At the end of the day, it's dope. Today, I got raw. I got, they, got, they, they took my phone. I mean, I got him back. All right, so right off the back, you can tell he's going through something. And... He mentioned that he, he got introduced to opiates um, through the hospital, you know. The hospitals, they push these pills out, but they don't tell you the long-term effects. I mean, of course, it's our fault to do the research as to what we're, um, what we're taking. You know, um, I, like, I like looking for alternative methods, but... Sometimes you you have to go with with what what the doctors um, prescribe, you know. So let's see let's see what else he has to say. No 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 further on that, but like you know, what I mean, it's it's real rough. It, in the day, bro, like I have an old grandma that I really want to change, but you know, what I mean, it's bad habit, brother. You can't just. Get up and change, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's real hard. I cry all the time, bro. That's why I, I do so much drugs, because I don't want, I, I, I don't want to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Pause that real quick. Yep. All right, so he's right. Like, w once you're deep in your addiction, you can't stop. You can't stop. You can, but you can't. And the only way to understand what I'm talking about and what he's talking about is if you went through it. 
my addiction was for 13 years. Sure, I've had times within that 13 years where I stopped and picked it right back up. Like your body screams for, for that fix, for that next fix, and the next one, and the next one. It's crazy. Like it's literally crazy. People think that you could just stop like that. But you can't, man. This is the new Ergo Smart Base from Tempur-Pedic. And it responds to snoring automatically. Go ahead, go ahead. I think my boy is here. saying, Chino? This, this, is, this is not a life for anybody, man. You know, I, I came from a good life. I came from my country. And I'm I'm, I'm 26 years old. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to shake this. <laughs> and it, it's real hard. You see, this... I try to, you know, help other people when I can, but it's real brother. It's true, man. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter the, the way you, you were raised. You could have had all the money in the world. A mother and a father. And addiction will just creep right up. You know? It, it's... it's it's a real serious thing. And I love the fact that art shows this to the world. God, I love this guy, Chino, man. He's a very passionate guy. He means what he says. And um, I can relate with him so much. I wish him the best. Listen to the type of questions that art asks. And and just his overall approach. It's beautiful. You know, it it breaks my heart, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people you go I mean, I have a grandma that loved me so much, but I don't know how to stop this pain, how how to stop disappointing her. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really f bro. Where, uh, where did you come from, Chino? I came from Vietnam, bro. I came here when I was 13. And, and, and I got my nail license. My family had businesses. This thing, you can pass it. Nobody. It, it, it's crazy, bro. Like, the, the crazy shit that you have to do just for this. You know what I'm saying? It, it, He's talking about the desperation in addiction. You will do some of the craziest things in active addiction. Like you will resort to doing things that you normally wouldn't do. Like I always, when I'm talking to my family or my mom or something, like I'll tell them, it's like I had, it's like I feel like I had another life. Like that whole time I was using, that whole time I was in a different mind frame. It just feels like a different life. The desperation is insane, man. It's, it's a hell. It's a hell hole, brother. You know? Have you ever tried going to treatment, you know? I have. But the thing about treatment, you get out of treatment, you don't have a place. If you don't have a place, how are you going to go work and generate money? So they got to work something on that. You know what I'm saying? You can be clean, but you living in the street. How can you work? You get what I'm saying? Right. So nobody can tell you how to walk this far like I can. It's, it's, it's tough, bro. I feel like I'm a piece of time. I feel like I'm real weak. You know what I'm saying? Chino, uh, you mentioned that in the Asian community, uh, they they judge real hard when yeah. people make mistakes or need help. Especially with drugs, they they just want you to f die. I had to go rehab out there. They made me work like a dog, and then I had to pay. But I think rehab is in America. Rehab is too easy, bro. Like you don't do nothing but just sit there, and people let you get on methadone and and then sit there and just eat and live like a king. That's not a rehab. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I speak rude, bro, but like, you know what I mean? Today, this mother asked me for a cigarette, right? I gave him a cigarette. He was like, let me borrow your phone real quick. I need to make a call. I gave him my phone, and he, he tried to run off. And I tried to pull up. I came and I got my knife. But my boss saw me. He was like, you can't be doing things like that. So it caused me to lose my job today. But. Like, I... I... I totally feel for this guy, man. Totally feel for this guy. Like, this is a hard video to react to. Because I hate pausing it. Like, I've watched this video four times. And this is the fifth time I've watched it. Like, I, I can't get enough of Chino. Because he's at a point in his, his life... Where he could either go left or he could go right. He has the skills to make it, man. He's got an amazing trade that he could take with him anywhere. You know, he, he does nails. He does women's nails. Or anybody who wants nails. And that's a true hustle right there, man. And he just mentioned that somebody took his phone. That's just one thing that could happen to you while you're on the street. One of millions of things that could happen to you on the street. On the street. Shit happened. I ain't gonna let a mother that do me like that. I'm I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do that shit. Like, bro. You know? I'm a man. I got my own pride. Not all my drug addicts or fuck bad people, bro. You know? You're you're a good person stuck in a bad situation, Chino. Bro, and I don't know how to get out of it, bro. You have to ask for help, Chino. You can't do it by yourself. You have to ask for help. It's crazy, bro. Because it's the same old cycle. How many years have you been using? 11 years, bro. 11 years? 11 years with this bush. 11 years of the same cycle. Each bottom that you hit has another bottom, and that bottom has another bottom. That bottom has the bottom. The same old cycle. You wake up. You feel sick. Your body is hurting. Your mind is racing. You're leaking out of every hole in your body. As graphic as that sounds, it's the truth. You got the chills. Your skin is crawling. People compare it to the flu. Not even close. Not even close to the flu. This poor guy, man. That I don't know how to get out of. And uh, so today you lost your job as a what, nail tech? Or what were you doing? Yeah, I'm a nail technician. I make great money. But until I can shake my habits, money just make me die quicker. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying real, real hard, bro. Chino. I, don't, I don't give a f myself, bro. I can really die and not give a sh But I have an old grandma that raised me since I was a kid. You know? I want her to at least die in peace. You know? Wow. Did you guys hear that? Just a bit ago, he said not all drug addicts are bad people. He said he has a grandmother that he wants her to go peacefully. And before she goes, he doesn't want her to see him like this. It's deep. What, what do you have to do to uh, give her that peace? Shake this shit, brother. And what do you have to do to shake it off? What has to happen? Detox, rehab again. And a really strong, strong man said, because no matter how strong you are, this is a life addiction thing. It's a, it's a for life that you got to deal with. It's not a day thing. You After three, six months, you don't do it. It doesn't mean you're right. You still get f It's a life disease. 
and people doesn't know so much about it and they gave a sideway look you know what i'm saying like i make my own money i don't beg nobody for no you know it doesn't mean i'm a bad person bro you know chino if you weren't battling this addiction for all of these years what would you be doing now how i got my own brand of nail shop my own franchise and nail shop bro that's what i do i do see that addiction doesn't judge it doesn't judge if you get 20 addicts in a room the statistics state one, maybe two, will make it. With my eye closed. It's easy. You know how to do it. Yeah, You're a pro. Bro. I got a mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? Them old lady love me, dog. They ain't even fronting, dog. Like, they tell me $40, 50 just to fix that now. Wow. But it, it, money is not what I'm looking for. He said, them old ladies love me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I got neglected as a child. And materialistic money is not where it's at. You know what I'm saying? My grandma gave me all the money that I needed. But I needed my mama and my daddy. I needed the love. You know what I'm saying? I could have all the nice things. But that's not what I needed. You know? I'm grateful for the life that my grandma gave me, but that lack, that lack of. Sometimes, uh, bro, I'm really afraid that I have to die with this addiction, and I, I have to go to my grandma's funeral, or she has to go to my funeral. That doesn't have to happen. It, it's not written in the cards. You're the one that dictates your future. You just have to work that, really brother. hard. You have to work really hard to. It's not easy. I know that, like. Trust me, I know real, real, I know, I've been doing this so long, I know every back and way and out of it, man, but it's just a matter of, like, it's because you break it, you think you can just do it once, and then, and then, and then oh, I won't do it next time, but it's chemically proven, if you do it once, your brain need more, you cannot control yourself, you can't stop. And I thank you for everybody that listening. If you're in my same situation, reach out to people. You know, it's not easy doing that. It's embarrassing, I know. You got to reach out, man. You got to give people a chance. But before you can give people a chance, you got to give yourself a chance. And I'm talking about when you're in active addiction. The last thing that I wanted to do was to reach out to somebody and say, help me. That didn't happen till, till I was ready. I had to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. I also wanted to mention, I just wanted to give Art his props, man. He's not talking at Chino. He's talking with Chino. It's a judgment free zone on his channel. It's a judgment free zone on my channel. Why? Because I've been through it. I'm guessing he has some family or friends that have been through this, but they are lucky to have him. They're lucky to have art in their life but ready to start eating healthier meet cachava cachava is the world we, we deserve so much better so so much better it's hundred dollar shoes man you know what i'm saying so much better this is not it this is not it I appreciate you, dog. Yeah, uh, Chino, thank you for talking to me. What advice would you give to young people? Other young people that are at home right now, they're 12, 13, 14. They're, right, right, they're, right. they're needing love, compassion from family, friends. What? I, w I want their mama and their parents to pay attention more of your child. When you raise your child, you don't shame them. 
You don't, you tell them, daughter, that's not right. You don't shame him. Uh, why would you ever do that? You, you slut shaming your daughter. She gonna feel bad about herself. And when she touches that drug, she gonna feel so good, she gonna say, mother. So basically more support for your child. Be understanding Pay of your child. to your child, you know? Child are a blessing, you know? A lot of people are fortunate enough to have children. I love kids, but I know I came up from, from an orphan family and I'm, I'm destroying all this and I, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't put my kids through it. I could have been a dad for so long already, but I... That part right there, what he just said, I relate to fully. I'm 42 years old. By society standards, I should have had a kid already, you know? But I was addicted for so long. I didn't want to bring a child into this universe. Like, sure, it sounds good right now to have to maybe have a baby but I'm a single man I don't want to just have a child with with anybody just to have a child my mom wants a grandbaby so bad you know it'd be nice to give her a grandbaby before she dies but I want to make sure I'm set I want to make sure I'm ready I want to be happy I want to be in love before I engage in any of that. Chino's the same way, man. He just said... He just said something real, real important right there. And the fact that he recognizes that he's an active addiction and he shouldn't bring a child into this universe just yet. I mean, that's, that's big props to Chino right there. I can't do that to my child. So, uh, all the things you're saying right now, those are things that you wish you would have received when you were younger, right? And Brother, all you little kids, you better listen to this. Man. It will save you a f life of misery, man. Look at me. I'm 26. I'm throwing my life away. I'm in the nail shop. Bitches play with me. But if they really know who the fuck I am, you know what I'm saying? I had to hide that shit, and I had to live with that shit myself every day. You don't want that life. Chino, you're a good person stuck in a bad situation. This doesn't have to be your forever. No, it's not, but for the past couple of years, it, it has been gotten better, you know? But it, it, it ain't, you know, unless you really want it. You can't do it. You gotta have like really want it bad Chino I hope that you get help soon I hope that you return I, 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 I hope this get out to people bro so you can help people you don't know what you're doing bro you're changing mother life bro Absolutely. you know what I'm saying it's the fentanyl is so bad right now man it's killing the youth killing big props to Chino man big props to Chino we're going to end this video right here. If you guys want to watch the rest of the video, I'm going to uh, link Art's channel in the uh, description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my first reaction. Um, Art, if you, if you ever watch this, man, like, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate what you're doing for humanity, you know. I appreciate what you're doing for Chino. And I hope there's another update on Chino um, I really really want to see where he's at in life and um, if you guys like this style of video these reactions I should say just just let me know alright thanks for listening